to the um, you know iPod Touch, which is you know the Kate Moss of I of uh, Apple products. It's disturbingly thin, though good looking. Um, you can just you know you, you already add about, about <laughs> the double of the thickness, but that's not really an issue. Now, with a lot of issue, uh, with a lot of effort, I'm peeling this sticker off because. With the Mosey mount, I got this iPhone 4 mount, which was nice and dandy, but I thought, you know, uh, that's all nice, but I don't have an iPhone 4. Imagine my surprise when I tried this. It fits perfectly. The camera is on the right level, and I can just use this, well, cassette to actually use with the Mosey mount. Again, I want to apologize for my extremely dirty screen on my iPod Touch. I should have wiped that one. There we go. By the way, I'm filming this with the uh, HTC Desire camera, which doesn't have an angle which is as wide as the iPod Touch. And there we go. Lift that off the ground. Clean it up a little bit. And here you go. Nice, sweet, compact setup of the Mosey mount. As you can see, nicely mounted, very secure, very tight, very snug. Uh, just activate the uh, iPod Touch here. Let's see if we can get some uh, picture on the TV. Here we go. So in landscape mode, in portrait mode, it's great. It also it's also just like with the um, Desire HD. It's really nice to use uh, also as just a screen to you know make calls or do FaceTime or stuff like that. That would really bring this little device out. And the great thing is, you can just if you want to um, basically remove the iPhone or the iPod Touch and use the Mosey mount as a uh, telephone mount that you just you know click it in. You hook up your cable and you are good to go. So, so far, the review of the Mosey Mount. The second product that I would like to review is uh, Joby's Gorilla Mobile for iPod Touch. Now, if you see these little balls on these little legs, you exactly know what company you're dealing with. The people from Joby.com are famous for the Gorilla Grip. This is a Gorilla Grip solution, but it is for the um, iPod Touch. Uh, it says here on the box, if you take a good look, uh, for the second generation iPod Touch, and it also lists the various memory models, which is uh, kind of redundant, but, you know, uh, whatever. Um, if we look at the back, you see the uh, famous iPod, the, the Gorilla uh, Grip uh, mount by Mosey, and it comes with four clips. One for your iPod Touch case, one uh, is a universal uh, uh, sticker that you know, attaches uh, to your um, MP3 player or whatever, and it comes with a uh, screw here that is universal for your camera adapters. Uh, according to the box, you can watch, listen, play, surf, capture, and also turn your iPod Touch into a pole dancing device. Let's open up the box, see what it's inside. <clears throat> Again, nice packaging, nice and snug. Everything comes well protected. There you go. The cardboard is, the packaging is cardboard, so that's kind of ecologically friendly. So it comes with the uh, very famous uh, Gorilla Grip stands that you can just, you know, bend and shape and, 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 and turn into just about every direction that you want to. And um, the head of this Gorilla mount is interchangeable. So what I do is I 
press down on this little button and I can just slide it out and slide in whatever adjustable um, piece that I want to use. So it comes with a stand and it comes with a special shell for the iPod Touch. Now this is for the second generation iPod Touch which means no hole for the camera. Now a little bit of power tools will fix this because you can drill into this I think if you're a little bit careful. But what I do like about this it comes with a um, very secure way to mount this little thing to the um, stand right here. We're going to take a look at that in a minute. And then of course you have the extra additions. This is the universal one uh, to stick on to whatever device you want to stick it onto. We're going to do that in a minute. Let's see here. Oh. It doesn't peel off very easily, but you can just stick it onto whatever you want to. And the uh, I, oh, I've got two of those. Oh, that's good. And then you of course have the one that is that comes with it with this standard camera screw. So pretty versatile stuff. Let's see how it works on the iPod. Touch. Okay, let's see how well the Gorilla Mobile um, performs on the candidate of choice, the iPod Touch. As I said, what I think is a little bit of a downside, but that's not uh, Joby's fault, that's just because there weren't any cameras in the older iPods, is that there is no camera hole here for the um, <clears throat> for the camera, you know, at the back, but that's okay. You can just use it at a stand or use the front facing camera. So we click in the iPod Touch into the stand. Very secure, won't be going anywhere. Enough room for the volume controls, the power key, and the dock connector. Then we take the Gorilla uh, grip here, press the little button. There you go. It says Joby, so press here, slide out. And this is what I like about this stand is that um, pressed here accidentally. Um, you can just slide in the entire construction, so the entire head secures into the mount, giving it a very very sturdy connection. I'll just you know put it up straight and uh, show you how it all fits together. The great thing about these Joby products is, of course, the Gorilla Grip, which lets you put the device at any possible angle that you would want. You have incredible flexibility and you're able to put them in the most bizarre angles and still have them functioning fantastically. So um, they come with rubberized edges and um, the HTC Desire camera is very good at capturing those details. These rubberized edges give you a lot of grip no matter where you put down the stand. So not only the ends of the, um, of the legs actually have grip, also the ones in the middle here. And this allows you to literally, you know, bend your uh, Gorilla Grip around just about anything. I'll give you a little demo here. Light quality isn't very good, but uh, I just mounted the entire construction onto my um, onto my lamp here up top, and as you can see, I mean it just works fantastically. You can really grip the little rubber balls around just about any surface and mount the device at about any surface. This gives the uh, Gorilla uh, mount uh, for the iPod Touch a little bit of an angle because you can really you know hook up your a smartphone to a certain altitude. It doesn't really have to be on ground level. You can just connect it wherever you want to and use the front facing camera or rear facing camera to do. In order to test the Gorilla Mobile out on uh, one of the bigger competitors out there, we are going to hook it up to our HTC Desire. Now I'm going to uh, put the adhesive sticker on here. Now I do want to say this is a phone that is way out of proportion. Normally, <clears throat> you, these things are used to connect to an iPod, sh uh, an iPod Shuffle or something like that. So we're going to go a little bit beyond design specifications here. We uh, attach that, slide the entire set in, 
and I really like the way it connects. It, it doesn't have a threaded hole, but uh, it actually slides over the entire connector, which does give it some stability. And then you have, of course, the one powerful uh, advantage of the um, uh, Gorilla Mobile is, and the Gorilla Grip is that you know you can put it in all of these different angles. And with a phone as heavy as the HTC Desire, well, you need to have your uh, legs in a wide stand. The wider the legs are, the lower the center of gravity is, and the smaller the chance is that your device will actually tip over. And why, you know. Uh, stick to putting stuff on the ground when you can actually also hang stuff in the air you know just like this um, it uh, connects up very well and you do have to be a little careful when uh, putting the device into all of these angles because the adhesive sticker is not built for a device of that size but it does still hold its own very very well and it gives you the um, versatility of uh, setting it down uh, just about anywhere. Okay, roundup time. Well, let's see. We have the two products here side by side the Mosey Mount and the Gorilla Mobile. The Mosey Mount by Mosey.com, Gorilla Mobile by uh, Joby.com. Okay, fight! Well, no, not really. Fight! No, not really. That wouldn't be a fair review. Uh, because both products are very, very good at what they do. Um, we'll start out by the Gorilla Mobile from Joby.com. Of course, what is fantastic about Gorilla, the Gorilla Mobile is the stand. You can just mount it about uh, just about anywhere. You can uh, lower the center of gravity, have a more stable uh, setup uh, in order to, you know film what you need to film or just hook up your uh, smartphone or uh, iPod touch or iPhone to whatever surface that you want to. It does take a little bit of tinkering to get all of the you know, balls in the right position and to get the grip that you exactly want. And that sometimes uh, takes up a little bit more time, but it is a very versatile solution. Uh, I like the cassette that comes with it to uh, connect the um, iPod touch holder. The one thing I kind of think is a little bit hard here, the final joint, this one here, does all of the turning and it is pretty versatile as you can see, but it does take some getting used to in finding the right angle. You do spend a lot of time finding the exact right angle and sometimes your camera does, uh, your smartphone or iPhone does fall over while you're doing this but it is a very versatile way of uh, shooting um, stuff with your iPhone. Um, here, the uh, Mosey mount, as you can see, it's, it's a little bit stricter. You know, it just says, you know, I'm gonna spread my legs and spread my hind leg and I'm gonna stand just like this. And you can, you know, do me in a 90 degree angle or a 45 degree angle. You can set me in a, uh, straight up in portrait mode or in landscape mode. It isn't as versatile as the Gorilla Mobile, but it is very, very sturdy. You just, you know, flip it open, set it down, and you can really go to work just like that. I like the uh, Mosey mount uh, from uh, Mosey.com as well because it comes with these stickers. The stickers are bigger, so that's that could be seen as a, a downside because you have to attach them to your phone. The ones from uh, Joby.com are smaller. These have a little bit more grip, but of course take up more surface. These have a little less grip, sorry there, uh, but do uh, well fit discreetly on your devices. To give you an idea, I have stuck one of these little pins onto my Mac Alley cover for my iPod Touch. And now I can mount it on the Mosey mount setup as well without having too much additional space on um, taken up on the cover of this little mount here as well. So, um, end of the line, both products are really good and really versatile. It would be really hard to pick a winner. Uh, if you would be uh, going for the iPhone iPod Touch solution for which the uh, Gorilla Mobile is actually designed, the Gorilla Mobile is a very, very good product. If you want even more versatility and want to use the big stickers 
on the back of even bigger smartphones than the Joby Dot. The Mosey Mount is also a very good product. So I want to thank the uh, 